Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Cyber Traders. How's everybody doing on this lovely Tuesday? We got here the 11th month of the year, 19th, a week away from Thanksgiving. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Donna, Bonnie, Chris, Chuck, Grant, Gene. Good to see you all. Ken, David, Benito, all of it, Andrea. Good to see you all. All right, guys. So um, I'll tell you, yesterday, you know what? We did it again. We did it again. K-R-T-X. Are you kidding me? I mean, when was the last time did you guys see a stock go from 20 to 100? I know when. Two weeks ago, <laughs> right? What was the stock that we traded two weeks ago that went from, uh, went from 30 to like 100? It was it three weeks ago? Unbelievable. Uh... Can you pump up your volume? Sure, I could. Absolutely. You're right. There we go. It must sound a little bit better now. So, um, I mean, that's just basically how we do it, everyone here. Now, this is, this is basically, you know, what you focus on when it comes to cyber trading. I tell you this. You want to be a good trader, you got to hit base hits, right? But there's going to be times you're going to you're gonna hit grand slam home runs. But if you always go up to a trade, which what most people make, and try to hit a grand slam home run, you're going to strike out more times than others. You know how many times people just go all in? Oh, you know, I'm, pl you know, I'm making 100, 200, 300. Next thing you know, they're like, you know what? I'm going to buy 10,000 shares of the stock, and they lose, they lose it all because they got in or they averaged down or whatever. But there are going to be times that you're going to bump into a stock like this. And guess what? If you didn't get into it, that's okay. You know why? There's going to be another one, all right? There's going to be another one. You just got to be, you just got to stick it out and be here at Cyber Trading, learn how to play the game, be in class like today, and, uh, you know, we do traders talk, and, you know, go through phase one, two, and don't forget, phase three is next week. But before we start talking about some of the stocks, um, we got a really big, big event tomorrow, and I just want to make a quick announcement. I hope everybody here is going to be there, but as everybody know who Tom Sosnoff is? The founder of Thinkorswim, he started Tasty Trade. Everybody know who he is? Good. You, you should, right? So he really does. He's got his own show. You know, obviously, he's got a great show. I've been there in Chicago. I'm telling you, I've never seen. It was, you know, it's like he was landing NASA, you know, in his recordings, his studio. But um, very successful entrepreneur. Uh, help change the market. He actually is one of the founders that helped make the option market what it is today. Well, he's going to be on tomorrow on Cyber Trade University. So, guys, reserve your spot. Um, he's going to talk about the platform. You know that there are only a few platforms that we recommend, and this is obviously one of them. But we're very, you know, very thankful. And Tom, you know, he's, I'm good friends with him for a long, long time. I've trained. I've done all the training on Thinkorswim, uh, teaching day trading there. If you, if you ever go up to X, Tom, say, hey, Tom, you know, I, I know you're a great options trader, but who do you recommend, you know, regarding about day trading? He won't even blink an eye and say, call my buddy Fausto Puglisi, okay? You don't have to go anywhere else. So, but you come and ask me, hey, who do you recommend, you know, about, you know, somebody's going to teach me options without a blinking an eye? Tom Sosnoff. So you're going to get the opportunity to get him, um, you know, be able to talk to him and ask questions, which rarely it's very hard to do with him. But you're going to get the opportunity here at Cyber Train University. Once again, this is one of the great things about being part of this family. You get to learn a little bit from everybody. You get to learn from the greatest traders in the industry. And uh, you know what's right and what's wrong. So don't get to register. All right. Now, regarding about that, let's talk about what traded yesterday. I mean, I don't even need to go any further than this KRTX. But you know what? We need to because yesterday actually was a very, very shockingly good day. Okay. And I want to start off with the LK trade. We've been doing really, really well with the with the with baby Starbucks. You know the Chinese spinoff of Starbucks. Uh, company went public, broke all time highs. You could see in the last couple of days, twenty two to thirty. Yesterday had a really, really nice rally. Um, you know, right in the, you know right around the open. Great moving stock. You know, another very, very one of the very few stocks that are actually doing pretty well in the IPO market. Um, and another one that you guys traded very well that we did well was uh, was uh, Pelican, Peloton. Um, there's another IPO just broke all time highs yesterday for the first time. 
You listen, if you're interested in that bicycles and the, the, you know what they do and everything, shockingly, like to me, I'm like, I don't know. This is like a fad, you know. I, I don't know if it's really going to be a thing, but I don't. As a trader at Cyber Trade University, we don't teach you to think. You know, we teach you how to trade. <laughs> okay, that's really what it comes down to. It. You know, you don't you don't think. Okay, when you think, you lose. All right, you got to know how to execute and say, you know what, stock's going up. So regardless, if you're into it, you're not into it. Whatever it is, money's money at the end of the day. But those are two two good, uh, great stocks that do, did really well. There are a couple other ones too. Um, which, by the way, I'm going to think for a second. I'm a fan of Chewy, okay? I buy, you know, I got a lovely cat, Chloe. You know, kind of uh, greatest pet in the world, okay? You're probably going to see her in one of my videos sometimes. But, uh, but I buy my food through Chewy. Now, does that mean I'm going to go out there and trade Chewy? Actually, you probably remember when the company came public, I did buy Chewy. And I did trade it. And I lost money on it. You know, because I bought it at 34, all right, and I sold it at 32. Guess what? It's at 22, okay? So the $32, the $32 trade was actually not a bad loss. It was a phenomenal loss, great loss, okay? It was a great loss because it couldn't get crushed. But if I let my best get, at, uh, best get, get to me and says, oh, but it's a great company. I love their product. I love their commercials. You know what? doesn't work that way. This stock, listen, when you break all-time lows, you know, you can do the math. A couple other good ones that did pretty well, too. Uh, we got that one, that one, uh, QD. There was a couple other ones. I don't want to bore us with it, but that thing just tanked, too, yesterday. Great, great short right there. That stock went from 760 down to five, almost six bucks right there. All right, but with that said, guys, um, let's go on talk about what's going on this morning because there are a couple of good stocks uh, that are moving. Now, remember, the... Just remember one thing. Yesterday, the KRTX, okay, you can go and check yesterday's morning watch list. And guess what? That one stock was the first one on the list. That, when I, when I gave you that stock yesterday, when we watched it, when it started, I got to fix the time frame here. When we saw it at 9 o'clock in the morning, it was 30 bucks. okay? Right out of the gate, 30 to 60. You know what? Freak things happen. You got to be at the right place at the right time. It just happens. The money truck stop broke down, broke in front of you. The gate's open. You know, you thought you were going to get a couple of bucks. Sure enough, you killed it right there. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Twitter channel, you know, uh, a Twitter feed, everything. But, um, but this basically was, you know, our best trade so far of November. I I'm going to give you that. All right. So anyway, what else? Uh, I want to bring up some of the good stocks. Everybody got that pen and paper ready? Okay. Let's start off with the SAEX. So we saw this one make a really nice move in the after hours yesterday. Ran from $1.50 all the way to about four fifty. Stock right here is, ch is, ch uh, is checking the resistance levels. Million shares up 184%. Um, it's got, it's, you know what? It's up a, a little too much than I would want, but it's holding right here at that high. So it's not a bad moving stock. So that one is not, you know, I kind of like it. It's um, pretty good. So that one to keep an eye on it. MDCO, another one, a blast from the past. Now, remember here at Cyber Training University, we teach you guys how to take, read your journals, right? You got to read your journals. You got to take good notes. We teach you how to do that in class. Go back to MDCO. You know we traded it back in um, August, okay? Go check on it because we traded one from 30 to about 50. See what the trend was. See how you traded it. See if, who the dominated market brokerage firms were. See if they had nasty shakes, everything. But it is expensive now, but it is breaking all-time highs. And we all know what happens when you break all-time highs. One stock I, I, I want to just do a little, um, a little tip of the day, a little training, okay? This stock was awesome this morning in pre-market. And uh, if, you, if, you, if you logged in early, you, you did really well on this trade. The, the, uh, the VKTX. Now, if you notice the stock gapped up pretty well from 840 to 740. Now, I just want to make out a point right here. We all know what Cyber Training Diversity is well known for, Okay. 
And it's all, what we're very well known for. And a lot of you always join Cybertrain University for this one main reason, not other than we're, you know, endorsed by more brokerage firms than anyone. And we've been in business longer than anyone, but it's about the level three and the level four. Okay. It's funny when I talk about those two things, people are like, holy crap. Now it makes all sense. Well, guess what? I'm just gonna bring this over here really quick. Okay. Now look at the, look at the resistance level, 22,000 share seller at 870. Remember I told you around this morning, Hey guys, be careful. Um, all the way up to about 830. Get out. If you made that money early in pre-market and get out, guess what? That seller was out there that whole time. Never went past that 22,000 share seller. What do we call that? An iceberg order. Bam. Thing dropped down to 820. Remember, what do we teach you here? Follow the money. Okay, guys? All about orders. It's not about Fibonacci's and, and moving averages and MACD's and RSI's and, you know, all those other crystal ball indicators out there. It's all about following the money. So anyway, just wanted to talk about that one. All right, let's go through another watch list on uh, stocks. MYOV. Okay. This thing is moving great. Um, this one was probably one of my favorites in pre-market already. It just made a great pop right here. Neil, Neil just made a buck three. He made 43, 49 cents and made a buck. Give him a round of applause. Way to go. Isn't that great, Neil? Neil, you know what? You could just go home right now. You could just call it a day. That's what I, that's what I'll say. Look at that, Neil. Nice. He made a buck, a dollar and three cents, 49 cents, and another dollar 34 cents. That's what it's all about. And you know what? It could probably still go higher <laughs> at the rate it's going. You know, it, it could probably go higher. Remember, it was a $26 stock at one point. But this one so far has been the best. Way to go. That's great. I love to hear that. Making the money before we would even get why people are still sitting on the sidelines waiting. My broker didn't open up yet. He won't let me trade. Neil, you're up 5,000 already in pre-market. You know what? Give him a round of applause. Actually, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you an electric guitar. That's a big announcement right there. Now, you know what you got to do, Neil? You know what you got to do, Neil? You need to go out and go buy yourself something. Go buy yourself something nice. Of actually, you know, your girlfriend, your wife, I don't forgot if you're married or whatever, your kids. Go do something. Take them out to lunch. Take the day off. You know what? Don't get cocky. Don't give that money back. Remember, I know for a fact that's not how much money you want to make a day. You hit a, you hit a Grand Slam home run today. Go out and go enjoy yourself. All right? All right. Another one that's uh, moving, but she's backing off a little bit. CANF right now. You could see it. The stock, you remember, was at $22 stock. Stock got crushed. We traded it back in, like, September, I think. It went from, like, 2 to $4. And you remember back here, we traded it, uh, was that, May or June? When it ran from, like, 2 and went to almost 10 So I know the stock does move. Check your indicators. And, uh, I mean, check your, your indicators, duh, <laughs> your, 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 your journals and see how you trade that stock. But the stock is at a good price. A lot of you guys can afford to trade it. So it is a level one. Another stock that took a huge hit right here. You remember this stock right here, CEI. This stock went from like 50 to about four, 500. Um, now she got crushed. She's up a little bit today. I mean, this was a $650 stock not too long ago. My God, talking about not coming back. I mean, this is just unbelievable right here. So uh, I want to keep an eye on it because she's up a little bit, had a good volume. Actually, you know what? She just backed off a little bit. I might, I might scratch her. But you know what? She's on my watch list. So she's on my watch list uh, as a swing trade, not as a day trade. Another stock, it's a little expensive. Um, you got to be a level four trader, but this one's also doing pretty good. The CRSP, nice little pop. Started already this morning. Let me change the time frame here. I see a better perspective of it. Uh, you can see it went from like 59 to 62. Not you know, right around 8.30. Nice little move right there. Just a little bit more expensive on a volatile side. One last stock before we go, all right? I, holy crap, talking about getting crushed. $24 stock less than what, a week ago? Things down to eight. Yeah, you know what? You want to be a good, you want to you hold overnight? Let me know how this works out for you, okay? Because let me tell you a story. I had a student that I just spoke to 
and says, Fausto, I watched you two weeks ago, but I got stuck in this position I, and I wanted, I wanted to be part of your program, but I, 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 I couldn't get out of this position. I was holding on. And, you know, and I know I read your book, and it talks about no overnights, no overnights. I don't know where he is now, but that was like for four days ago, three days ago. I mean, it was like on Friday or Thursday. I feel bad for this guy. I really, I really feel bad. I mean, this is like, this is a catastrophe. By the way, you know how much lower the stock can go? Was there a number called zero? Terrible. You know, listen, everybody want, thinks that, you know, day trading is risky and everything. Yeah, you know what? Try swing trading. Try to buy this thing. You work your whole life. You're saving and you wake up one morning. At least when you're day trading, you make your day's pay. You lose your day's pay, you know, if it's 200, 500. Because then you'll be like a guy like Neil. And then, you know what? You get it and you make 5,000. But you know what? You wake up one morning and you think, ah, you know, it's more conservative, this and that. Next thing you know, you wake up. Boom. Look what happens to stock like this. And it happens all the time. All right. All right, guys. You got about uh, a little less than uh, 10 minutes before the market opens up. You guys did pretty well. You're doing good. Um, some of you are still breaking even, which is okay. Listen, this is a, it's not a sprint. It's a, it's a marathon. Just learn, and then you know what? You'll be just like Neil, and you make the 5000 on that trade. Ken just made $0.27 cents on the SAEX. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading. Once again, do not forget the um, we got Tom Sosnoff that's coming on. And uh, tomorrow, I know everybody wants to, you know, wants to try options. They want to learn it. You know what? You got to listen to the experts first and hear what they have to say. So make sure you all register for the event. And then also don't forget, you got Josh today with Closing Bell. All right, guys. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, we'll start the commentary in about uh, 10 minutes when the market opens up. And then we'll do the 2.30 meeting and trade going to the close. Good luck, everyone. And, Neil, I, I, I expect you to be logged out and go out and, and send me an email and tell me what you bought uh, today, all right? Because that's what it's all about. Enjoy it. Congratulations. Good luck, everyone.